Happy Monday, Left of Awesome. Okay, today's Monday, as I have stated. Hooray for Mondays. Everybody loves those. Um, so anyway, today I was having trouble finding a topic, and it had gotten to the point where I was like, I'm just gonna talk about Puritanism, because I read The Scarlet Letter over the summer, and we talked about it in class, and also don't ever read that book, The Scarlet Letter. Just don't do it. It's horrible. Like, it is a terrible book. It moves so slow. Oh my god. Just don't. Unless you're required to for class, just don't. Um, so the... One of my fellow Left of Austin members ended up sending me a couple of articles because I was having trouble finding one. And one of the ones he sent me was about this man named Donald May who was pulled over in Kissimmee in Florida for apparently, well he was pulled over originally for having expired tags on his license plate. And when the cop went up to his window to talk to him, the man was chewing on a breath mint and the officer decided that it was crack cocaine and his field test was apparently positive so Donald May was arrested, taken to jail, and held there for three months pending the results of a more definitive test. How did that happen? How is that conceivable? Wouldn't it be pretty freaking easy? Because it says that he took the mints directly out of his they like took them out of his mouth and put them in a bag and then threw him in jail couldn't you take the bag of, of breath mints and like take them to a lab and i would think it would be pretty damn easy for the lab to be like um this isn't crack these are altoids you're an idiot <laughs> and then there's the fact that field tests are notoriously false positives and um there's also the fact that the officer claimed that he field tested the evidence and it tested positive for drugs which i don't understand it's a breath mint and the officer said he saw may buying drugs while he stopped at an intersection and he also stated in his report that May waived his Miranda rights and voluntarily admitted to buying drugs. And according to May, this never occurred. Um, and his attorney says, my client never admitted he purchased crack cocaine. Why would he say that? Um, so Mail was thrown in, May, not Mail. <laughs> May was thrown in jail and unable to bond out for three months. And he didn't get out until he received a letter from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and the state attorney's office that test results showed no drugs were found. No shit no drugs were found. They were breath mints. How do you not figure out before three months are up that they were breath mints? How difficult is that? Really? Did they have to like grind them up and look at every single individual particle of breath mint to make sure there wasn't like a nugget of crack stuck in them? What? Why? This does not make any sense. And there's also the fact that, if I remember correctly from world history, there, I'm pretty sure there is an amendment or to the Constitution or something in the Bill of Rights or somewhere in the Constitution it states that you cannot be held for a long amount of time without trial. And it does not mention anything about this guy going to trial at all. So he was held in jail for three months on false pretenses without a trial, which is unconstitutional. So, <sighs> I don't, I don't understand at all. And also, I'm relatively sure people don't suck or chew on crack. I'm pretty sure you smoke it or you snort it. I, I don't think people chew it. So, this is completely ridiculous. And this police officer is an idiot. And the justice system in this county is stupid as fuck for not realizing that this was happening so that's this week's little tidbit of fantabulousness not really so everyone have a wonderful week and have fun in school if you're back in school 
Hooray for higher learning! I, that was not actually sarcastic. I do like school. But don't forget to be awesome and have an awesome week, guys.